What's up, freaks in the VIP? So, looking at some numbers, looking at some weight loss results, I see sometimes when some of the freaks only lose one pound. One pound! And you see in the title it says, you only lost one pound, you suck. Obviously, that's being sarcastic. Meaning, think about it. Alright, say that. Say a week goes by that you've lost one pound. Your goal, really, depending on how much weight you have to lose, if you have a, a, a decent amount of weight to lose, one pound a week is what you're looking for. Of course, there's going to be times when you're going to lose more than one pound a week, but there's going to be times when you don't lose any weight in a week. There might be time, weeks where you gain a half a pound, gain a pound. That's the way it goes. You need to look at the long game. Figure out the averages of, of what have you lost over a month or six weeks or 12 weeks. That's the way you need to think of it. Think big picture. This is a freaking marathon, not a sprint. This is a lifelong game. This is what we're doing. We're setting up habits for a lifetime. They're going to last you a lifetime. So think about if in one month you lost two pounds. In another month you lost eight pounds. And another month you lost two pounds. So you lost two plus eight plus two, 12 pounds in three months. Let's just say, I just made those numbers, let's pull them out of my ass, didn't even know if it was gonna make sense, but it looks like it's gonna. Then if you look, so in those three months, you've lost 12 pounds. You've lost an average of four pounds a month, which is an average of one pound a week. Look at that, it worked out perfectly. Which is technically your goal. So you can't think, oh my God, this week I only lost, I didn't lose any weight. I didn't lose any weight for two weeks, but then the week after that, or the week before that, you lost three pounds or four pounds. You have to average it out over time. You can't be obsessed with it over how much you lose each week. Of course, we weigh in weekly just to see the trends so you can see how things are going, but it's a, a cumulative effect. It's the long term. It's the marathon, not the sprint. So let's go back to that one pound a week. Let's say you, need to, you want to lose, I don't know, 35 pounds. Let's just say, let's pick a number, 35 pounds. And so let me ask you a question. When, and when was the last time that you were at 35 pounds lighter? A lot of times the answer would be two years ago, 10 years ago, back when I was in college, or I was never 35 pounds lighter. So apparently you were born at a weight, some record fucking Guinness Book of World Records amount of weight when you were born. But you get the point. So let's say it was five years ago, even three years ago. Let's say three years ago. You were 35 pounds less. It's been three years since you've been at that weight you want to be of 35 pounds lost. So let's imagine if you only average, now not lost one pound a week, but average one pound a week, meaning you might lose no pounds in one week, lose two pounds the next week, those two weeks is an average of one pound. Now think of that long term. So if you only averaged one pound per week of weight loss, only the shitty one pound a week where you fucking suck because you only lost one pound a week, Think about it, that in only 30 weeks, 35 weeks, barely more than half of a year, less than three quarters of a year, you would lose the amount of weight that you haven't been at for three years, five years, 10 years, college, whatever, whatever the hell it is. So think about that when you're, when, you're, when you're seeing the scale and it's like, oh my God, I only lost one freaking pound. Think about that. Or you're only, think, and we don't even want to lose one pound a week. We want to average one pound a week, because it's not going to be a perfect fucking world. It's not going to be like you're losing one pound every single week. It's just not going to work that way. You might lose three in a week, one the next week, and you might gain a pound the next week, and then lose two, zero, one, gain a pound. It's the way it's going to go. Whenever you're weighing yourself, you know it could fluctuate. You can go up and down. Of course, I talked about it, I think, last week on the video where you need to be consistent the way you're weighing yourself. Same time, same clothes, same exact session, same time either before or after the session. Keep it consistent. Keep all the parameters consistent so you get consistent weigh-ins. But then again, don't stress it week to week. Definitely don't weigh yourself every day. That's just not going to do anything for you. So make sure that you are thinking the long term, thinking the big picture, looking at what is your average. And if you only lost an average of one pound a week for a year, you would lose 52 fucking pounds. 52 pounds in a year, or 35 pounds in 35 weeks, if that's what you average. So start changing your perspective, the way that you're seeing stuff, the way you're thinking of stuff, because you see things out there on, on the internet and all the, the magic, all the magic pills and all this stuff, which I'm here to tell you, it's all bullshit. It takes discipline, it takes hard work, it takes effort, 
takes a good attitude with and consistently over time to make it a habit that's going to last your entire life, not just be a quick fix. We're not looking to make a quick fix here at Peak. We're looking to change your life forever, to teach you the skills that are going to last for the rest of your life. That's what we're looking to do. So next time you only lose one pound, think about it. Holy shit. I lost one. I averaged one fucking pound of weight loss a week. And you should be proud of yourself, giving yourself a freaking pat on the shoulder when you only lose that one pound. And don't ever say only. Don't think, oh my God, I only lost. Be like, yes, I lost a freaking pound. High fives, fist bumps. Not time to celebrate yet. You got to earn those celebrations. And you can and you will. That goes back to a something that someone, a, a saying that I used just the other day. I told Someone said, you're lucky you can eat whatever you want to eat. And that's just, to me, that just doesn't make any sense. It's nothing about luck. I can eat whatever I want to eat because I don't eat whatever I want to eat. So throw your head around that. And we'll talk about that at another time. But don't worry about only losing one pound a week. That's what you want. An average of one pound a week, which means you are doing exactly what you should be doing because you are fucking awesome. No excuses.